Right, sorry, back to my plan again. This is my uh, belt sander, belt grinder that I made. Now this is extra discs I had kicking around. I made a few different things. These are all rusted discs that I tend to use for various bits and bobs. What I did is I made a disc and I've had three tubes welded that all in. As you can see, because that's a cast iron, I had to preheat it so that the cast iron wouldn't crack when I was welding it. And then uh, put all those pieces, those are just sections I had kicking around, so that's why this was, wasn't one length, it was three lengths that I had welded together. And I had that thick plate, massive plate, but what I like about it is it's mass. Nice thick thick plate and I made two stanchions with another plate up top electric motor that I took apart stripped clean put together and then I made this belt grinder here in a previous time now I've just fitted it's got a guard on the back it's a two inch by 48 inch belt and the electric motor I wired it so that it's 220 but you can do 110 at the same time and there you can see the spec of it it is a where is it here it is a three-quarter horse 55 kilowatt running at 230 volts and what I have here there's my table part of it that I made I had these brackets kicking around made one now this is fully adjustable so that not only if you have a 90 degree in here but you can also adjust the table so it sits up so you can do knives. That's the plan. As you can see, there's a strut here. What I didn't want is a belt sander, belt grinder, take up a lot of room. I don't have a lot of room in this garage, so what I need to do is I have to make things as compact and as small as I can, but still robust and powerful enough. This is a um, just an on-off switch. I originally bought the box so I could fit a, um, a controller, speed controller, but I would need a, um, well, what do you call them, uh, an inverter. Um, so I just discounted that and then just built this. And this is the type of job it does. Uh, this is just very, very quickly. As you can see, it does a lovely job just shining up the that's just a stop plate maybe uh, this is a quarter inch by one plate and then that just does a really good job the same with wood if you have a piece of wood you can also do a nice lovely job this is just a oh, piece of wood that's I've just had kicking around but that gives you an indication of what you can do with it I've been meaning to make one of these for a long time and I finally got around to it. It'll get loud for a second, but I'll just switch it on. There's our on-off switch. adjustable here I just loosen that lock nut off and I can adjust it to get that right center of the band so that I can adjust it if I have to change the belt what I do is I loosen all this off this lock piece here I'll pivot this out of the way and I'll slip the belt in here sideways through there and then slip it out here like that so that's why but as you can see I'll just adjust this table so you can see oh this one a tight one yikes okay we'll do that one later <laughs> that one's all tight but that's sort of my addition hope you enjoyed I like making things and this is one of my task here now this will make a big difference for all the other little projects and 
things that I have in mind to do and will make it look more professional and also will make it look nicer and I'll be able to achieve those results a lot easier. Thank you for watching.